So where were some of the challenges being a barber? Becoming a barber, I should say. Ugh. And wait, wait, first, before I ask that, did you have any prior jobs before becoming a barber? Or was, did you just kind of just jump oh, right hey, into it? I had hella prior jobs before becoming a Let's barber. Let's run, run us through that first. Like, how, like, what did you do before you actually became a barber? Like, before I became a professional barber? A professional barber, barber right. Uh, everything. Uh, to factory work, to hustling on the block, to shoveling snow, to... You know what I'm saying? More and longs. Uh, my last previous job, like literally before becoming a barber, I was certified CBRL. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was I loved that job too, man. Like helping them old folks and stuff like that when other people wouldn't. That was like the best shit ever to me. Right. And they was paying me crazy. And saying. women love to see me in them scrubs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. It was a weird weird, you know. What I'm Worked around them for ladies, you know what I'm saying? Have my little scrubs on going to work. That's what's grilling, up. Grilling, going, uh, going you, crazy. You had the goals then at that yeah, time, probably. You had the goals at that time, man. That shit was the best shit ever, though. Yeah. So, then you grew, obviously. Grew into a mature young man that you are. Yeah, man. And, um... Took a long time for that, dude. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We all went through, you know, some things. We gonna get to that, you know. We gonna tap into that. Um, being a barber, man, what were some of the challenges becoming a barber growing up? Cause I know, I know, I know. Everybody just don't let everybody in their heads, hey, and I, 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 I two you know, challenges, man, growing up, really, like, which was. Getting people to see my worth, mm. you know what I'm saying? And believing in you. Yeah, because like, look, niggas will let you cut them, but only off the strength that, oh, you the homie. Because they going to get some out mm. of you. They going to get a cheaper price That's and deep. shit like that. So like getting everybody from the hood, everybody from my childhood, all the niggas that be like, oh, we go way back. I should get five dollars still and shit like that. Getting them to pay regular price, you feel me? That was one of the biggest challenges because like, because they used to that. Growing up, they used to bar showing too much love. You mm. feel me? No matter what, I'm the plug. No matter what, I'm gonna look out. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying, give you a price that's ten times better than anybody else's and shit like that. Until reality sat in and I really needed what I was worth. Mm. That's what's up, man. It's well put. And man. then the second challenge was learning how to. Taper when yeah. I was a kid, bro. Like, growing up, learning how to taper because taper and linus was everything. You feel me? Like, that was the biggest thing and like, cutting in my day and age. You feel me? Because, yeah. like, everybody had nappy froze or, you know what I'm saying, in between wave cuts, you was getting a lot of the taper. Right. You know? So, like, learning how to taper was crazy because, like, I couldn't taper on the side. But I could fade your shit the fuck up. It was like, it was crazy as shit. <laughs> it was crazy as hell. Like, I could give you a full boosty fade. Right. Clean. I couldn't give you that little bitty taper on the side right there. Like, <laughs> it was weird. Because, like, that was one of my one of my pros about cutting hair. Like, I could just look at any cut and be like, oh, I could do that. And then get a nigga in the chair and do the cut perfect. Perfect. You feel me? But that taper, it took me the longest, man. I had to learn how to taper like a motherfucker. 